Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield. Wow, the frames. Actually, what are my frames right now? Hold up. Yeah, that kind of explains why. Hopefully, soon that will be fixed. No guarantees. But. Yeah, that's why it looks like I have motion blur when I don't have it on at, or hold on. Do I? I hope I don't. Okay, no. Thank God that you that that this setting that does not work in real life because your eyeballs do not do this in real life is turned off. Whoever wanted this in video games because they thought. Oh, well, my eyeballs do this in real life. I want something like this. No, no, they don't. Whoever wanted this, you're a freaking moron. Stop. Your eyeballs do not do a motion blur in real life. If you think they do, you need help. And I don't mean the kind of help to where you can get on whatever. I mean, you need help. Your eyeballs don't make motion blur, or don't blur, when you are turning your head. At all. I forgot to also, um, drop off my, um, stuff in my ship. I've been busy the past couple of days, so hopefully we don't run into um inventory issues if we do we have what what oh we have her okay well there she is yeah we have her to help us out with that Okay. So, can I afford to buy the microcell? I could. Because <clears throat> it's like, what, 13,000? <clears throat> but I am not going to buy it. What is this? Oh, it's a rare pistol. Dude, do they all have that on them? No way. Do they all have stuff like that on them? They, I think they do, actually. Huh. Oh, and if you guys are enjoying the video, feel free to... This one does not. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And yeah, it will help my channel grow. It will give you notifications whenever I post new videos. I try to post several videos a day. For the most part. And if I don't post several videos a day, I try to have enough videos uploaded for you know in case I get burnout or not burn out from YouTube but burn out from you know other burn out from you know video games or whatever which does happen there has been a time where I was just completely burned out on video games in general and where I just didn't want to play them so, wait a minute. What's giving me that? Is it is it the gun? No. Is it my my helmet? No. What's letting me see?
How did I see that on them? Okay, that gun sucks. I'm afraid that gun is just... How am I able to see that on them? Is it a new... Huh? How am I able to see heat sensors and all that crap? None of my stuff does that. Right? Like, none of my stuff I have equipped... Depleted uranium rounds. What does that mean? How am I seeing... The heat? It's not my helmet, it's not that, and it's not my... My suit. And it's not my guns. How am I seeing their heat signature? That, it was not doing that before. That's so weird. I'm not complaining. It's just... I'm not used to it. I don't understand what's given me that perk. Is it her? To Venus? I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's not even her. Deals more damage for each consecutive hit. If I can get furious on something else. That's going to be badass. Yeah, so nothing I have for a perk or anything is doing that. Okay. Unless they change the perk. So it's not sneak, it's not... It's not that one. It's none of those ones either. I wasn't using... Yeah, no, it's none of these. What's letting me see their heat signature? I, I am confused by that. I am confused by this. Is it this gun? Let me put on, hold on. Let me put on this gun instead and see if it does it. I'm curious. And if it doesn't do it, or if it does, then it has to be something else that is a hidden stat somewhere. Am I not close enough for it? Is it this gun? It's this gun! How? What on this gun is doing that? And I was totally that gun. Yeah, no, it is this gun, but how? How is this gun different? How is this gun different?
Is it the anti personnel? No, that's for humans. Reflex sight, technical stock, reflex sight, okay. So is it the reflex sight doing it? No, it's not. Does this gun do it? No. No, it's only... How is that gun different? How is it different? What's giving it that perk? Is it is it because it's a rare? Is it because it has a name? Like Beowulf? Is it is it Beowulf? Is that why? Hmm. That has to be why. Because it's Beowulf. Oh, I wonder. Hold up now. I'm curious. It's right through there somewhere. I'm curious. Okay, no, that does not work the way I thought it would. Actually, no, does it? It does. Okay, no, it does not go through walls. Can I find it this way? Through the wall. No. No, I cannot. Okay. But I can do this. And then that. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Oh, dude, that was sick. It had no idea I was there. right there in front of me, I think. I do want to see something quick, though. Hold up. I saw a tip that apparently doing this does not affect experience. Oh, well, hell. It doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, then. Well. Well, then.
I'm pressing the button to jump, game. Come on now. Freaking do it. That one is still freaking a uh, Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, I have a sprain. What does a sprain do for me? Sneaking uses O2. Now, see, that's fair. Can I heal that, though? I do have aid. Not on me. Okay. The reason why I lowered the difficulty is because of a a tip. Apparently you can um, load into an area onto like the hardest difficulty. And then once you do, before you go and fight stuff, lower the difficulty. And then this stuff will still be loaded in on the hard difficulty for loot. Only thing the difficulty does is increase enemy health and how much damage they do for you, to you. I mean, I'll take the ammo, but I won't take anything else. Joint pain. So I can't sneak anymore because of that. Which is realistic, honestly, I like that. Because it does cause pain whenever you do it. Um, what? <laughs> I kind of want to go see what that is now. <laughs> I'm curious to see what that is. <laughs> what is that? Oh, pfft. who cares? A hundred EM. No, I don't need that crap, honestly. Who cares? This is better, but I lose resistances, and I don't want to lose those. Nuclear fuel rod. Damn, dude. That's dirty. So I might get rid of the this for now because I don't have any good stuff for it at all right now. I mean, I'll take that, I guess. A mine, I'll take. 9 by 32 ammo, toxins. Industrial, no, I need a, um, a med pack one, don't I? Yeah, yeah, I do, for sprains and all that. Well, I mean, the sprain will heal over time, but. I do like how they added um, more ailments. I do like that, though. Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. Oh, I wonder if I shoot that. I'm curious now. I'm actually quite curious. Ah, uh, I wanted a nuclear explosion. Come on now, game. Come on, Todd. No kidding, Todd. Don't worry, I'm kidding. Don't worry, I'm not salty about that. 
Oh, I'm encumbered. Ho oh, ho. Oh. A little bit. Battle. Oh, so that's this game's version of um Fallout's so, um Yeah. Okay. What does this do? Oh, that's good for stealth. Nuclear fuel rod. Toxin. Can be used for crafting. I'm a little bit overweight, but it, it you know, whatever. It is what it is. I can always go... Actually, you know what? No, hold up. I got an idea. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Dang it. I forgot about that. Copper deposit. I might need copper, actually. You know what? Yeah, I might, I might need this. I might need that, honestly. Why not? Because I may or may not build an outpost, but I also might need it for, um... For, um, upgrading weapons and whatnot, so... Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just take it. I know I need more nickel. Can I not grab it? That one's bugged out. Cool. Okay then. I approve of that, I guess. Don't see any more around here. What is this one? Nickel. Alright. I might increase the um, range of the scanner, but I want to get. Um, the weapon stuff up, you know, up first. I do need that. That I know I need. If I can find those versus build them, that's what I would do. Oh, it's seeing her, of course. I don't, li I don't like when it does that. I hope they fix that. Like, have it see her whenever she's not even in my radius. Like, this. She's behind me right now. Like, right there. So why can I see her whenever she's nowhere near me? Like, I, I, I don't like that. Like, why? Why can't why can I see her? One of her sees right there. That's not where she's at, game. She's nowhere near me. At all. I hope they I, I hope they fix that. I really do. Because it's quite annoying. Is there anything else around here that I can get? No. Okay, cool. What is that? Oh, that's... Find anything useful. Zero wire. I do need that. Nope. All right. 
Let's go make this micro cell. Let's make the micro cell. Four XP for that. Nice. Oh, I mean, I can make some of those. But do I make those or do I make. I'll make those, actually. Yeah, I'll make those. Because I know I need those. All right. And then I am going to get you something. No better selection on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I want to probably keep all of that stuff, honestly. And then I am going to. Um, what can I buy actually from him? So from Frontier. Okay, so I cannot check the Frontier. Yeah, I'm going to sell the Trick Shot. Oh, and the modified Equinox as well. I mean, this one is stronger. You know, I might keep this one because it is stronger. And, and how many of actually... Yeah, I might keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it. Oh, and I have... I have the Assassin's one, right? No, this one's modified, so it's no, no longer considered assassins. Okay. Yeah. This one's modified. I want to favorite this one here. <clears throat> I don't actually need that favorited, but I'm going to have it favorited anyway. All right. Now to oh, I want that, but I don't need a bounty right now. I will pass on a bounty. I don't want a bounty. Nah, I'll pass. This place used to be a repair facility for mechs back during the war. Now it's Ultra. I want to go to my ship. This is the wrong way to my ship. I need to go to my ship. So, I want to do... Not this one. This. It's over there. Yep, okay, cool. I have time for a nap before we leave. Hmm? 
Maybe. I don't know. But maybe. Do, 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 do. All right. Wait, there's a helmet here? Why is this in here? I want to take that out. I want to take that out as well. Um, do I have anything that will repair a fracture? Yes, I do. Brain cured. Heck yeah, dude. Um, store all resources. My ship is fat. Okay. I need to get more space. <clears throat> that or I can just take it to my house in the well. What I might do. How close am I to a level up? Okay. I need to make grav jumps with... Yeah, I need to make 10 of these just to get this. Which I can easily do. Okay. Um, I was doing which one? It was, was it the Mantis? No. No, was it this one? No. Was it? No. Which one was it? Where am I at right now? What planet am I on? Nera. I'm on Nera. Uh, I'm on... Yes, right here. Alright. So I know that my ship is overweight or close to overweight. This way, okay. I need to make 10 grav jumps while my ship is almost overweight or overweight. Which I can easily do. But the question is, does it have to do the grab jump cutscene? I mean, I need that, but I kind of want to get more cargo space first before I do anything else. I also want to... Um, I'm running in air. Cool. I approve of that game. It's always a fun time to run in air.
previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. Request denied. My current mission requires completion. Will you provide support? My mission is the disarmament of Unit XW-99. Designation, Siren. Nearest final active Xeno weapon, 99, has proven a far more formidable adversary than its peers. Will you aid me with disarmament? I'm sorry. You're chasing a real, living Xeno weapon. Why aren't they all wiped out? They will be. Unit 99 has proven a capable adversary. External support, however, seems the most likely path to disarming it. During the Colony War, handling of Unit 99 and its peers were among my personal duties. Deploy Unit 99. Defend Unit 99 against hostile forces. But above all, ensure Unit 99 was never used against non-combatants. When I was separated from the Xeno Warfare team with the Armistice, Unit 99 and its broodmates remained here, causing many non-combatant deaths. So I am here to correct my mistake. I have nearly succeeded in disarming their brood. Only Unit 99 remains. Follow me. My I might... I might need my big gun for this. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Mm, no, I got this one. If I can get Kaiser on my side as a companion, you know I'm going to. to um, do this real quick too. No, not that. I'm not gonna exploit the um, the chance for gear or nothing because it just sounds cheesy. And they're more than likely gonna fix that anyway, so I hope if
but I am going to do this. Dude, this okay. Target down. Got him. This gun is not half bad, honestly. This gun is not half bad. <laughs> Yeah, so this gun is basically a shotgun. I approve. I want more ammo for it. Unit huh. 99 service is now complete. Mine, however, continues. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. A plague of terror attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there. <laughs> Now we loot some guns. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. Yeah, I'm looking around for stuff. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, we got a new slate. Okay. I'll read that later. Since they weigh nothing, which is awesome sauce. Stuck around here for stuff that I can loot. That's the ground. Okay, far enough. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, well, just going. I mean, I kind of want to go up there. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. I know, it's, it's just... Good lord. Game? Hey. Thank you. Medical injector. Um, I need that for something. Sure. Okay. Oh, I don't have that one. Oh my lordy! In front of mine, I'll, I'll take. I'll take that. Sure, dude. Oh my god, this is a Grendel. Oh wow. 
<clears throat> I can sell that. Orion. Um, okay. A weapons case advanced. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Okay, so I'm not going to be using this one. Or am I? No, I'm not. Okay, yeah, no, this one is not used. Okay, so what about... This one's not used either, or is it? Okay, I'll do this, and then... I may have fudged it already. Yeah, I might have fudged it already. Um, I did fudge it already. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna lose one. We're gonna lose one. That's fine. We can always get more, whatever. But I am, however, going to make a save. All right. Oh, we got plenty. Never mind then. We're good. Oh, here we are. Yeah, we're good. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that one can go there. But now I gotta line up the other ones. That leaves those ones. Okay, so then... Yes, yes, okay, so then... That one's not used, okay. This one, and then maybe... Okay. Modified. I mean, it's money. Whatever. Who cares? It is what it is. All right. What's in this? No, nah, I don't need that at all. Who cares? Whatever. Food isn't worth having. Not when you got these. Oh yeah. Now we can go to our ship. Fast travel, yes. Oh, yeah, I wonder, does he count as clue? Okay, no, he does not. Fair enough. That's fine, though. All right, I am going to make a quick pit stop at the well. Actually, no, I am actually going to. Just come here and make a quick 
jump. Survey. Okay, so you cannot land on these. Fair enough. Okay, so now does that count towards a graph jump? Let's see if it does. It does. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this right now. I'm just going to jump, you know, back and forth and just get it done with. That way I can get more cargo space. So, set course. I'm just going to go back and forth between areas. Because I really want more cargo space for my ship. Ooh, must have been a good jump. We're still you in are entering United. All right. So now let's go back. Colony space. To here. Course and, prepare to be and did that count? Yes. Okay. Jump complete. Normal propulsion restored. This is United Colony Space. Alright. So, yeah, just bear with me while I do this over and over again. Maintain current course. To get this perk unlocked. Grab jump complete. Yep, it is counting it because it's now at 40%. Alright, we're gonna go back here. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. We're getting closer. We just need five more jumps and then we're done. You didn't put us into a planet, so we must Four more jumps, and we're done. We're in the right Welcome place. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Yeah, have fun with that, boys. Switching over to standard engines. Three more. Yeah, have fun with that. <sighs> I will never get tired of that. This is United Colony Space. And I want to say that the next one past this is going to be 20 jumps. So if it is, I might just go ahead and just do it as well. That way it's done and over with. Have fun scanning my ship, boys, because, yes. Smooth jump. Nice work. Be advised. One more. You are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Yeah, have fun with that. All right, that one's now done. Nice job. We're right on target. We're good. Do we have a point? No, we don't. 
you are entering United Colony space, please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. <coughs> and we're on Mars. Why can't we go to Sidonia? That's weird. Scan complete. You're cleared to land. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Oh, you can't go there, but you can go everywhere else. Oh. Huh. So that over here changes. See how it says rocky desert? Frozen hills. Interesting. Let's go here before we go anywhere else and let's explore. I'm curious. I want to see how the snow and ice looks before we do anything else. <laughs> There's stuff here. Cool. Okay. Is it cold here, I wonder? Imagine being marooned on a planet like this. I don't know how you'd survive. It's not cold here. It's a structure. Okay. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Go to the Red Devils and land. And for those of you who are wondering why I went ahead and got this one done, is so that whenever I do have a skill point, it is already done. That's why I went ahead and did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. Hmm. 
You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. Oh, that sucks. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. That's breed populations cool. of them, Distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected we could speed up their breeding process using well using some of the same technologies that were used to create me we even think that with some time and investigation we could use the asili's hunting skills to track down the terramorph transmission method at long last find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. All our data suggests so. Asilis, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. On worlds where Asilis were present, terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. Well, there is another option. It'd be faster, maybe even more effective. But it's got its own risks. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Yeah, and I'm betting that microbe would kill us humans, because I suspect humans are the Terramorphs. <sighs> well, that's still not a hundred percent, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics, so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. A series. That way myself. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. Hmm. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Tolemon II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. 
which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began, and the key to its end. Hmm. <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It's dangerous, yes. But Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Hmm. Well, with that, I am going to make a save and put a cut in the video. If you all enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.